class, welcome back. I'm Dr. April Strom, and in this video, what I wanna talk about is the difference between an explicitly defined equation and an implicitly defined equation. And the reason why it's important that we distinguish one from the other is because we are going to roll into implicit differentiation for a reason. So if I'm talking about explicitly defined functions or equations, that might be something like say x plus y equals nine. And the reason why we would say this is explicitly defined is because when I look at this equation, I can solve this equation for either one of these variables, in fact. So let's say, let's pretend we wanna solve for y. In order to do so, I would just need to subtract over the x. And so we would then get the equation y equals say nine minus x. So y is explicitly solved and it is in fact equal to just nine minus X. So I'm guaranteed that anytime I create or pick a value for X to evaluate in this equation and plug in here in this spot, I can do a calculation and get just one value out for the Y. Okay, so this is what we would consider an explicitly defined equation. But let's look at an implicitly defined equation, similar to this one, but check this out. What if we have x squared plus y squared equals nine? All I did was I squared the x and I squared the y. Okay, well, turns out this is a completely different equation. Its graph, in fact, would be totally different. Whereas this first one explicitly defined function turns out to be graphed as a line, this particular equation turns out to be graphed as a circle. But if I try to solve this equation here, x squared plus y squared equals nine for say y, watch what happens. So I will subtract x squared from both sides and I end up with y squared equals say nine minus x squared. And now to get y completely by itself, we would have to take the square root of both sides of the equation. And when I do, I end up with y equaling plus or minus square root of nine minus x squared. So in essence, I get two equations here. I get an equation of y equals the positive square root of nine minus x squared, and also the equation y equals the negative square root of nine minus x squared. So we would categorize this as an implicitly defined equation. And the reason is, is because I am unable to solve for say the y value explicitly for an x value. I have here two separate equations that are generated when I make that attempt of solving for y. So it's implicitly defined, whereas previously we had an explicitly defined equation. So this is important because we're going to see these kind of equations come up, these implicitly defined equations, but yet we're gonna to need to be able to find the derivative of those equations. So we're gonna do so using a process called implicit differentiation because of the implicitly defined equations that we're gonna be given. So thanks for joining us. I hope this video was helpful. Please click on the Advantage logo to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.